I'd like to introduce you to another property of fluid um, or liquid gas interfaces called surface tension. Um, so if I think about what a liquid is, a liquid forms basically because molecules are so attracted to one another that they more or less bond without escaping each other due to their like lack of kinetic energy. Um, or in other words, um, so, so what does it mean to you know, condense? Basically, it means that molecules are reducing their potential energy by being close to one another and forming bonds. Maybe not tight bonds, but bonds nevertheless. Um, however, it's kind of interesting. If you have a gas-liquid interface, at some point there have to be some atoms that live on the surface. Um, and in, in that case, Molecules that are near the surface aren't able to form as many bonds as the molecules that are on the interior of the liquid. And so those molecules that exist near the surface are basically suffering an energy penalty for being on the outside. Um, and actually this leads to some really interesting effects. So um, you can quantify that using a property um, called surface tension. So the idea is that the energy penalty or the free energy um, penalty near the surface associated with a given area of the liquid um, is proportional to a quantity called the surface tension. So um, this thing has units of joules per meter squared. Um, however, interestingly enough, I'll show you that um, you can actually break that down a little bit further if I think about the units, right? So joules are newton meters, so force times distance. And so if I break that out a little further, you'll see that that actually works out to a units of newtons per meter. Um, so what I'll show you in the next, uh, in, in the next slide is that the, the idea of minimizing surface energy, so joules per meter squared, is equivalent to having a force that exists um, per unit length on um, any sort of slice through the interface. Um, so I'll show you what that means in a second. Um, so in general, um, liquids try to reduce their total energy by uh, you know, minimizing their potential energy by balling up. So um, if you, especially if you have small amounts of fluid, they will ball up into droplets to try to minimize their energy since spheres have the lowest possible surface to volume ratio. Now you might ask yourself, well, why don't all things form into droplets then? Well, it's because in reality there's competing forces. So in addition to minimizing um, your surface area, um, you also want to minimize your potential energy. So things are generally drawn downward by gravity, which tends to flatten things out as long as there's enough gravity. But in many situations, especially when I have small amounts of things, um, the, the gravitational energy, you know, is not all that comparable to the surface energy. And so the surface energy really drives the formation into droplets.